What's number one? It's Caddy with MoneyVest. So I've got a very, very under the radar semiconductor stock, chip stock for you guys. And that is going to be small cap company, less than $4 billion market cap. We've talked about this stock before on the channel. It's done incredibly well, a very nice, consistent uptrend. It has been selling off a little bit from its recent highs. And that is exactly the reason why I'm covering this once again, to put this on your radar so you can take advantage of this stock when it comes down to our intrinsic value and comes down to a much stronger support. It is down another 2% on the day today. So deals are incoming and we need to be ready to take advantage of this potential idea. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, find it helpful, make sure that you drop a like. All I'm asking in return is that you subscribe to the channel and join our Discord on our Patreon. If you're interested, link's going to be down below. There is a 16% annual discount available for a couple more days for the month of January 2024. Very happy new year to you and your family. You get access to all the members-only private videos, of course, buy and sell alerts, options alerts, trade ideas, everything's going to be included with the link down below. And I'm also going to be dedicating at least an hour to go over any questions you may have in our Discord and the moneyvest.com platform and software is going to be launched very very soon in the next couple weeks actually several weeks it's going to take some time we got we want to get things right so that is also will be given to you as an early access for all the members uh in the patreon and discord as well so again links gonna be down below we'd love to have you on board if you have any questions feel free to reach out so the company is going to be Exilus technologies and this is going to be a company that designs manufactures and services eon implantations and other processing equipment used in fabrication of semiconductor chips over in the u.s europe and asia pacific this is a company that's based out of beverly massachusetts in the united states of course i semiconductor materials and equipment and this is a company that is only with a market cap of around 3.87 billion so less than four billion dollars and it is by far one of the best run companies in my opinion if you take a look at the revenues overall very very nice consistent growth so if you take a look at the revenues going from 195 million dollars to almost uh, a little bit over a billion dollars on a trillion 12 months basis right that's a five times increase in a revenue gross profits gone from 68 million dollars to 462 million dollars and of course we've got um, the operating income that's from negative so operating loss of 13.5 million to now well over 242 million dollars so very very nice consistent growth as you can see as represented by these histograms for revenue earnings and of course operating income and profitability for the company this right here is going to be the bottom line so net income went from losses uh, back in 2013 and 2014 uh, to now generating a very very nice consistent profits over the last three to four years and trailing 12 months sitting at just over 230 million shares outstanding have gone from 27 to over 33 million shares and of course diluted earnings per share from negative 60 to 40 cents per share to now well over 699 almost seven dollars per share you'll take a look at the valuation it's actually quite quite low uh, this right here is going to be the profit margins for the business which is going to be pretty good we're looking at a 42 43 percent gross profit margins net margins of over 21 percent for the company and EBITDA margins of around 23 percent and we've got return on total capital common equity and assets sitting at 19 19 32 uh, percent and of course we've got uh, the actual net income per employee which is absolutely fantastic I mean that speaks volume to how efficient this business is I mean it's gone from seventy six thousand dollars profit per employee to over a hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars right so that's incredibly incredibly good very very solid number and when you're looking at the balance sheet for the business we're looking at 461 million dollars worth of cash with a total debt of 76 million dollars so we're looking at a net debt of negative 384 million so that means the company's got more cash than debt on the balance sheet so that again is a very very good and we've got a current and quick ratio of well over two to three and debt to free cash flow a little bit over four for the company as well so that right there is again a very very strong balance sheet we got excellent cash flow excellent current and quick ratio great uh, balance sheet for the company and this is going to be the valuation so we're looking at uh, the price to earnings multiple of 16 to 17 times folks and enterprise value to EBITDA of a little bit over 13 to 14 uh, we've got a price to sales at over 3.5 under 5 price to cash flow at around 18 on a trailing basis for the company as well so this is a stock that is reasonably priced in the markets right now with growth expected at 33 percent in 2023 and about 11 percent this year and 10.2 percent the following year as well so if you plug in some of these numbers we're looking at a growth rate of just over 10 percent for the company over the next three years so if you plug in some of the expected numbers so let's just say okay the company's got shares outstanding of 33.2 so 772, we're looking at 33.2. We're looking at $256 million. Let's just round it up to 260. 
million dollars in actual net income for the company that's actual profitability and let's just scroll them by 10 percent give them a p multiple of 16 and uh, 12 percent discount rate 10 percent margin of safety let's just account for one percent share dilution and we're looking at a fair value of just under a hundred dollars per share and right now it's trading at around 118 so only 16 percent potential downside needed for Excellus to be trading at its intrinsic value. And this is after considering a 16 times multiple with a 10% growth rate. If you come over to the sensitivity grid, you'll notice that right now, since it's at $118, uh, the market is more or less likely pricing in um, about uh, 18 times multiple, which of course is true, and a 10% growth rate. So it is actually quite reasonably priced at the moment, right? $112, $118. But of course, you know, the cheap that I am when it comes to investing in stocks and of course looking for deals, sub $100 would be a very, very good level to watch. And this right here is going to be the entire uh, sort of technical analysis where we've got a very nice consistent uptrend of higher highs and higher lows for this company. So it's just been moving in this very nice uptrend uh, of higher highs and higher lows. Uh, so you can see a very nice consistent uptrend from lows of about $13. It has rallied to well over 120 uh, at one point, it was at over 190. So it had a 1,300% rally since 2020. And of course, from its all-time highs right now, it is down a little bit over 40%. So it's been selling off. And it's not the first time that we're seeing this 40% sell-off. We've seen this before multiple times. Once over here, uh, twice, you know, three times, four times, five times, you know, somewhat over here. And this right here is another time when it's coming down to that higher load, coming down to that support. So I would be watching this right here as a very strong area of support, that green line kind of in line with that higher low. Uh, and of course, that horizontal support right over there. So that's the confluence of support to watch for this stock as well. Um, that's going to be sitting roughly at around $106, $107. Um, and of course, as we already know, sub 100 and close to $99 is going to, be, going to be my fair value. And to top it all off, we've got the 300 simple moving average. That's going to be this white line. In fact, I think that's going to be the 200. Let me just quickly check uh, SMA3. So that's the 100. That's the 100 simple moving average that's going to be sitting right at $107. So in my opinion, at close to low 100s, this stock is most likely going to be a pretty good deal, in my opinion, from a risk reward standpoint. So definitely do more research on this company, on this stock. Let me know what you think about this stock and whether it is worth your attention and your time. Uh, I, I like it. I think it's got very strong revenue growth, earnings, profitability, very good balance sheet, good fair value that's sitting at sub 100 decent valuation uh, and of course the fact that it's down over 40 percent pretty oversold on a weekly basis so low 100s is what i'm going to be watching for this as always make sure that you drop a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you enjoyed this video found it helpful make sure that you drop a like and of course join our discord and our patreon if you're interested in joining us and of course getting access to all the members only private videos along with all the trade alerts over 20 plus discord channels buy and sell alerts options alerts trade ideas everything's going to be included so always happy investing i'll see you all in the next video